What is up you guys? It is Ash. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So for this week's video, I just wanted to do a really chill sit down Q&A type of video because it's been a while since I've been able to do that. So here I am from the comfort of my own bedroom bringing to you another college Q&A. I asked people on my Instagram to send me some questions on my story, so I'm just going to be going through and just giving you guys some life updates as well because I feel like I haven't been able to just like tell you guys what's been going on with me. All of your burning questions will be answered today. Just kidding. No one actually like cares, but it's fine. So before we get into it, I just want to say if you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe. The button is somewhere down below. Give this video a like, leave a comment, uh, do something. Yeah, and also check out all of my social media. They'll be linked in the description down below with all of my music and I'll have them floating around on the screen right here. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into the questions. Also, it is like 9.30 in the morning right now and the fact that I'm up and like this energetic is just super impressive for me. I haven't even had coffee today. I ran out of milk so I can't make my own coffee and I'm really sad about it. And it's snowing outside so I don't want to go out yeah anyways let's just get into the questions okay so the first question is how do you keep your motivation i'm literally struggling girl i've been struggling too um yeah it's hard the main way i've been trying to keep my motivation is by waking up every morning and just putting on a cute outfit i know that sounds really shallow but having that transition from like being in my bed to sitting at my desk and having that being marked by like changing my clothes is really really helpful for me and it kind of gets me into that mindset of like okay it's work time now and also i just feel really good like i just feel confident and even though my camera is off for most of my zoom classes the fact that i like what i'm wearing just makes me feel better about myself another thing i do to stay motivated is make my bullet journal every week it just helps me stay organized and it's really satisfying like having all of these things to do and then just being able to cross off all of them as I do them. I don't know, that's just a little thing that also helps me stay motivated, but I would just say like, do what works for you, find your groove. Different things work best for different people. But yeah, those are just the ways I stay motivated personally. So the next question is any luck on the co-op search? So actually, yes, I, I have had some luck. If you don't know what the co-op system is with Drexel, basically, instead of doing classes for a term, we do co-op, which is like basically working at a company in your field, getting that experiential learning. And it's really nice. It's one of the main reasons why people come here because you graduate with experience on your resume because a big thing with like people entering the workforce is they can't get a job because they don't have experience but they don't have experience because they can't get a job and it's like a really vicious cycle but yeah so long story short i have had some luck in my co-op search my co-op cycle is during the summers so i'll be only working during the months of june to like beginning of september and i have an offer from a company it's remote because obviously pandemic but the company is called Publicity Nation and it's basically a PR firm for artists like in the Nashville area, um, in the music industry, but there are artists like from all different genres and they come all over, but they're just based in Nashville. But yeah, I'll be on their marketing team as an intern, which will be super duper exciting. I'm just waiting for the documents to finalize that position, but yeah, I don't know. I'm very, I'm very excited about it and I'm really glad that I have that part over with because it was really stressful, that whole job search thing. The next question is, what classes are you taking this quarter? So a lot of my classes are actually gen eds and they're not really related to my field, which is fine. Like, I just got to get through it. I'm taking intro to marketing, which is the very first requirement I need for my minor. So I'm really glad that I'm getting that out of the way. I'm taking math. I don't like it but it's fine. I'm taking business communications, which fulfills one of my arts and humanities electives. And I'm taking survey of music production, which basically goes through like the history of music production techniques and like different equipment. Um, so that's my only class in like my actual major. And I feel like I'm missing one more. Oh, I'm taking economics. God. Um, my professor in economics is so nice. She's the sweetest lady ever. And I just feel so bad because half of the time I'm sitting there like, I don't, I don't get it. I'm sorry. But like, it's not a hard class at all. I just have to do like 
extra reading to understand the material. I can't just get it from her explaining it. So those are the classes I'm taking. I'm only taking five classes, which is weird because I'm still taking 18 credits out of 20. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. It's been going well so far. The next question is, do you have any time management tips? Yes, I do. Um, time management is like the one thing that I know 100% I do really well at. Actually, that's a lie because I can time manage for my work, but I can't can't time manage for my free time and my self-care time, which is really bad. I should factor that in, but my biggest time management tip is to write everything down. Like, I'll show you guys my bullet journal again. Literally, like, every single thing I have going on for the week, I write it down, and then when I complete it, I cross it off. So, it helps me just like stay on top of all my tasks i know what i have to do for the day i know what's scheduled when and it's really all about working things around each other so i usually base all of my like homework time around my class time and i base all of my free time or like other things like the gym i base that around when i have free time um, outside of like work and responsibilities. So definitely writing everything down is super duper helpful. I literally can't function without this thing. Like, I don't know if that's a bad thing or not, but literally if I don't make my schedule every week, I won't know what's happening when, I won't know what I have to do. I'll just be in a panic and I'll be super overwhelmed by all of the work that I have, even though like when I write it out and I break it down, it's not as, intimidating as it looks. The next question is, what were your high school stats? I've actually gotten this question a lot, but I've been kind of refraining from sharing it just because I didn't know how far removed from high school um, I should be to like share because I don't want it to be like, oh, she's just bragging, but like I'm it's been two years and it literally just doesn't matter anymore. So I'll share my high school stats. My GPA, I believe was, so we didn't go off of a 4.0 scale or like a letter grade scale. We went off of 100. So I believe mine was a 96.8. I'm not sure if that was weighted or unweighted, but that's that's a number that I know my GPA was um, when I graduated. And my SAT score, I don't know if that still counts because I know with the pandemic, like a lot of SAT um, scores just don't matter anymore. But my score that I sent in was a 1400 and that wasn't a super score. If it helps, I didn't send this into Drexel, but my ACT score was a 30, so yeah. I don't know, times are changing. I don't know if SAT or ACT scores even matter anymore. I personally don't really think that they are an accurate representation of like what a student can do. But yeah, those are my stats. My next question is what got you into the music industry program at Drexel? I, I get this question a lot from like incoming freshmen or like people applying. So I don't know if I can like pinpoint one specific thing about my application that was like, yeah, this is what got me in because it's a very holistic process with admissions, I believe. I will say that the best thing you can do on your application is just show, not tell, show how much music means to you. Even if you have no musical experience, if you can do the optional portfolio, do it because that's where I showcased a lot of my past projects and stuff. I put a cover song that I produced. I put an original song that I produced. I put in a video of me performing at my school talent show. And I even put in a letter of recommendation from my music teacher and an article I wrote about um, something in the music industry. So yeah, literally just anything you have that can show that you're really passionate about it and this goes for any major that you're applying to especially with my major it was super selective for the admissions process i think they gave us a scary number like like what seven percent or something which is yikes but um you know i got in so um <laughs> that sounded so pretentious no um i'm just saying like those are my tips and they obviously worked so yeah. My next question is, what was your college essay topic? Ooh, okay. Um, I was actually really proud of this. So one thing I realized when I was writing my college essay was it wasn't what you were saying. It was how you're saying it. So I was basically trying to say that I really loved music and it really helped me like 
finding myself growing up but the way that i structured it was each step of my like emotional development and my growth corresponded to a string on a guitar because the guitar was the first instrument that i taught myself and really like sparked my love for it so like the low e string i was at my lowest point i didn't know what i wanted for myself and then the high e string was like the epiphany that it's music like this is what i love to do and just like steps going towards that that was basically my essay topic was music is what i want to do it is how i basically became the person i am right now or at that point in time and it was a huge factor in my emotional development gosh it has been so long since i have thought about this kind of stuff this is really taking me back i remember watching videos like this when i was a senior in high school like college admission tips and college application tips and now now here i am giving them that's so that's so fun love how things come full circle so the next question that i got is how do you stay physically healthy in college um i'm really not the best person to ask that i will say one of the things that i've recently started doing since the new year is is going to the gym. I try to go three days a week, if not two days. When it's warmer outside, I definitely wanna go on more walks. Can't really do that right now because it's literally snowing. But yeah, exercising more, especially because most of my classes are remote and most of my day is spent sitting at my desk. I try to get out and move around as much as I can. I'm also not a very big snacker which is something i've realized like i have a whole snack bin under my bed and not gonna lie some of the things under there i've had since september and still haven't finished um and they're probably really gross by now i should really throw that stuff out but yeah i'm really not a big snacker i don't buy snacks for myself yeah i'm just really not the best person to ask for this because i start my mornings with a nice coffee so it's a work in progress. At least I'm going to the gym. That's something I didn't do fall quarter, so I'm really glad that I'm getting back into that. The next question I got is how early do classes start at Drexel? Um, I'm not sure if they meant how early do classes start in the year or how early they start in the day. So I'm gonna just answer both. Classes start super late in the year. I remember freshman year when all of my friends were moving away to college. They were leaving by like mid-August, late August, and I didn't move in until September like 12th or 13th, which really sucked being alone for those three to four weeks. Everything is basically pushed back because of our quarter schedule. So last year I would get off of classes a lot later in the year. Like I would end in June, people would end in May, even with like holiday breaks i would come back like two or th one week before christmas and my friends would be home for the entire month of december and january and i'd be like what our schedules just don't line up with other colleges and that's something you might want to consider if you're thinking of coming here but yeah so that's how our classes um work throughout the year but how early classes start in a day um, really depends on your schedule. I have never had a class earlier than 9 a.m. But I know my best friend has an 8 a.m. I think the earliest is 8 a.m. I've never heard of a 7 or 6 a.m. That would be inhumane. But yeah, so that's that question. <laughs> the last question I got is what is my favorite thing about Drexel? There is a lot of things I really love about the school. I think it's just my mental health when I'm on campus and my work ethic when I'm on campus um, that makes me love this place so much. Being home for six months during quarantine just wasn't great for me and that's nothing against like my parents, my family. I love my family. It was just like the environment I was in didn't make me feel like a college student. I felt like I was back in high school and I did not like that feeling basically i just could not be productive at home i cannot like sit at my desk and do work when i'm in my home bedroom being on campus has just been super super helpful for my work ethic and my mental health and i don't know i just feel super productive here another thing i really love about this school is all the opportunities that i've been opened to since coming here like high school me would never picture myself 
um, putting out music on Spotify with like super complex productions, but the way that I'm doing that is through the people that I've met here. College has opened so many opportunities for me just through the people I've met and the connections I've made. So that's another thing I really like about this school, but I will never say that like I got all of these opportunities by just sitting back and letting them come to me. Like I hopped on everything I could. So that's something that I would say for people starting college is to just hop on every opportunity you can because that's how you grow and that's how you get places. College is what you make of it. Woohoo! So with that question, I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to this point, you are a very good human and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Dream